Welcome, adventurers, to Season 3 of World with Wife. And we kickstart this season by traveling to the land where history whispers through cobblestone streets, where every corner tells a story, and where the essence of Spain comes to life. Today, we embark on a journey through the enchanting city of Morella, nestled in the heart of the eastern Spanish countryside. Join us as we uncover the hidden gems, unravel the mysteries, and immerse ourselves in the rich tapestry of culture that defines this magnificent destination. Morella, with its medieval charm and breathtaking landscapes, is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. First thing first, we had to park our car along one of the public spaces outside the city and then continue on foot. You can't drive inside the historic city center due to its narrow streets and preserved medieval architecture. The start of this video is not glamorous. We are seen pulling our luggage through the narrow cobble streets of Morella, looking for our hotel. However, walking allowed us to fully immerse ourselves in the charm and beauty of Morella's pedestrian-friendly streets, historic sites, and picturesque alleys. As we wander through its labyrinthine alleys, we can't help but be captivated by the timeless beauty that surrounds us. We were in the middle of December, just two days before Christmas. The weather was chilly, but it was not that cold. We found it pleasant, and we were happy that the roads sloped downhills. Morella, located in the province of Castellan in the Valencian community of Spain, boasts a rich and fascinating history dating back thousands of years. The area around Morella has been inhabited since prehistoric times, with evidence of human settlement dating back to the Neolithic period. Later, it was inhabited by Iberians, Romans, and Visigoths. The alley started to slope uphill, and I wished that our hotel was not still a long walk away. The rattling made by the luggage along the cobbled pavement was irritating and disturbed the very tranquil and serene ambience all around us. Christmas was just around the corner, and here we're pulling, dragging our luggage behind us, and looking for our hotel. And to make matters worse, the slope started to get more and more steep. But luckily, just a few steps further, we reached our destination. We could now settle in and then get ready to explore Morella properly. Morella is approximately 210 kilometers away from Barcelona, which is to the northeast of Morella. The journey by car took us a little less than three hours. It is situated in the interior of the Valencian community, close to the border with the province of Teruel in the Aragon region, with a population of around 2,500 inhabitants. Every six years, residents observe the Sexeni, commemorating the town's recovery from a 17th-century plague. Tourism and agriculture are vital to the local economy. In the 20th century, Morella and its surroundings experienced depopulation, but this trend reversed in the early 21st century. We walked around the town, through its winding ancient streets, climbing up and down staircases, often narrow and steep, reflecting Morella historical significance and defensive layout. These cobblestone pathways add to the city's charm, guiding visitors through centuries of history. These steps lead up to the Plaza de los Estudios, also known as the Square of the Studies. It is located in the heart of Morella. The plaza's name originates from its association with the University of Morella, which was founded in the 16th century. During its heyday, the university attracted scholars and intellectuals from across the region, contributing to Morella's reputation as a center of learning. The Torre del Concel, also known as the Council Tower, dates back to the medieval period, likely constructed during the 14th century. It served as part of the defensive fortifications of Morella, a strategic stronghold perched atop a hill. The tower played a crucial role in the city's defense, offering vantage points for surveillance and communication. 
The tower is a fine example of medieval military architecture, characterized by its sturdy construction and defensive features. It stands tall, commanding attention with its imposing presence. The design incorporates elements such as crenellations, arrow slits, and a robust stone facade, reflecting the military needs of the time. Nearby, and surrounding the square of the studies, we could admire a blend of architectural styles spanning centuries. Also nearby stood the portal de El Estudi, which translated as the gate of the study, serving as one of the entrances to the historic walled city. Like other gates in Morella's fortifications, it played a vital role in controlling access to the city and served as a defensive structure to protect against external threats. It stands as a tangible reminder of the city's medieval past and the importance of its fortifications in shaping its development over the centuries. Perched atop a hill, the gate offers a commanding vantage point from which to admire the beauty of the region. Rolling hills, verdant valleys, and expansive fields create a stunning tapestry of natural beauty that extends as far as the eye can see. Historic buildings line the area surrounding the The Square, showcasing elements of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque design. These structures serve as a visual reminder of Morella rich heritage and the intellectual pursuits that once flourished within its walls. From The Square, we took a narrow uphill sloping alley that eventually brought us to a charming green space, a peaceful retreat amidst lush vegetation and beautiful surroundings, known as the Garden of the Poets. Known for its scenic beauty, and characterized by meticulously landscaped gardens, vibrant flower beds, and towering trees, the garden features carefully curated designs. Garden of the Poets pays homage to the literary heritage of Morella. It serves as a tribute to the poets and writers who have found inspiration in the city's natural beauty and cultural richness. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the garden also holds cultural significance for the residents of Morella. It serves as a communal gathering space where locals and visitors alike can come together to appreciate nature's beauty and celebrate the city's artistic heritage. From there, we could admire the colorful flowers and as the December sun started to set, the entire garden was filled with golden light, making the scenery appear even more magical. Leaving the garden, we continued our tour of Morella. First going downhill through this set of very wide steps, forming this staircase, that was somehow wider than many alleys we ventured through. Then, we had to go uphill once again, this time, through another series of staircase, that were quite steep. As we made a sharp left turn on our way uphill, we could see glimpse of the Morella Castle, a majestic fortress perched atop a hill overlooking the town. This iconic landmark has a rich history dating back to ancient times and stands as a symbol of the city's resilience and heritage. I will tell you more about it in the later part of this video. We were now walking towards the convent of St. Francis. This is a historic religious complex and it dates back to the medieval period, believed to have been founded in the 13th century. It was established by the Franciscan Order of Monks and played a vital role in the religious and social life of Morella throughout the centuries. The architectural style of the convent reflects the Gothic and Renaissance influences prevalent during its construction and subsequent renovations. The complex consists of various buildings, including a church, cloisters, living quarters for the monks, and other facilities. As a center of Franciscan worship and contemplation, the convent of St. Francis holds religious significance for the local community and pilgrims alike. The convent served as a place of prayer, meditation, and religious instruction, fostering spiritual growth and devotion among its inhabitants. Further ahead, the road was a dead end, and we had to stop. However, the overlooking views from this corner of town, were simply amazing. 
In addition to the rolling hills, lush valleys, and rugged mountain ranges stretching out as far as the eye can see, we could also marvel at the well-preserved medieval walls that encircle the town, along with the distinctive rooftops and narrow streets of the historic city center. The origins of the Castel de Morella trace back to the Moorish period, with the fortress undergoing numerous expansions and renovations over the centuries. Its strategic location made it a vital stronghold for controlling the surrounding region and defending against invasions. Today, the Castel de Morella stands as a testament to Morella's rich cultural heritage and historical legacy. It serves as a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world who come to admire its architectural splendor and learn about its storied past. Guided tours and interpretive exhibits offer insights into the castle's history and significance. While we make our way back towards the Jewish part of town, let me share this short story with you. In the late 1600s, Morella was hit hard by a deadly disease called the plague. For 20 years, the people suffered greatly. Eventually, they decided to bring a statue of the Virgin Mary from a place called the Sanctuary of Valavana, which was 24 kilometers away. They carried the statue through the streets of Morella. It is said that after this, the plague disappeared from the city. To remember this event, every six years, the Sekseni Festival is held for nine days in late August. During this festival, the statue of the Virgin Mary is paraded through the streets, and the people of Morella perform traditional dances in her honor. The festivities in 2006 were the first ones of the 21st century. We have now reached another important landmark in Morella. This is the Archpriestal Church of Santa Maria la Mayor. And this church holds great historical, architectural, and cultural importance within the city. The origins of the Iglesia Arciprestal de Santa Maria la Mayor can be traced back to the medieval period, around the 13th century. We wanted to go inside and visit it, but we were just five minutes too late. The church was closed for the day. We walked around, checking if there were any door that was still open. But this was a futile attempt. It would appear that we would need to come back tomorrow, if we still wanted to visit this church. So, let us keep moving. We shall be back here again tomorrow morning, and then we will tell you more about it. For now, it was downhill once more, via this staircase, that made for an easy and pleasant walk. We were walking towards the Morella Town Hall, which serves as the primary administrative center and governing body for the municipality of Morella. Inside there are four giant statues, which, in fact, is a replica of the cover of the Apostles of the Church of Santa Maria la Mayor. Furthermore, at the town hall, you will also be able to learn more about the city. The town hall has its own website, and I will leave a link to it, in the description of this video. The website is linked to various other online pages, which will allow you to learn more about the museums of Morella, get important tourist information of the town, and learn about the history and culture of the city. The Town Hall of Morella, Moella plays an essential role in fostering community engagement and participation in local government. Regular council meetings, public hearings, and community forums to solicit input from residents and stakeholders on important issues and decisions affecting the city, are held there. During our visit, there was a photo exhibition, in one of the larger rooms of the Town Hall. We spent some time admiring the work of various photographers that capture vivid images of some of the most amazing spots of the region. Just take a look for yourself. Two minutes walk from the town hall and we found ourselves in Morella Jewish Quarter. The Morella Jewish Quarter, also known as the Huderia in Spanish, is a historic neighborhood, which once housed a thriving Jewish community. 
The Jewish quarter dates back to the medieval period when a significant Jewish population inhabited the city. During this time, Jews played an essential role in the city's economic, social, and cultural life, contributing to its prosperity and diversity. The Jewish quarter is typically located in the older part of the city, characterized by narrow, winding streets and alleyways. The layout often reflects traditional Jewish urban planning principles, with houses built closely together and courtyards providing communal spaces for residents. And of course, Morella offers a charming and unique shopping experience, characterized by its narrow cobblestone streets lined with boutique shops and artisanal stores. Morella is known for its talented artisans who craft a variety of traditional goods, including pottery, ceramics, leather goods, and textiles. The streets of Morella are also dotted with specialty shops offering a wide range of products to suit every taste and interest. For those looking to take home a memento of their visit to Morella, there are plenty of souvenir shops offering a variety of gifts and keepsakes. There, you will find items such as postcards, magnets, keychains, and t-shirts featuring images and motifs inspired by Morella's history, culture, and landmarks. Additionally, there are shops selling handmade crafts, jewelry, and decorative items that make perfect gifts for friends and family back home. As the sun is setting in Morella, let me take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about this amazing town. Morella holds the historical title of being the capital of the Ports region. Covering an area of 415 square kilometers, it boasts the largest municipal territory in Castello province and one of the largest in the Valencia region. The town itself is situated within a walled enclosure, and Morella's elevation ranges from 600 to 1300 meters above sea level, with its highest point reaching 1000 meters. That is why it is a perfect vantage point to admire the views all around. The municipality itself is subdivided into districts and historically divided into three parishes Santa Maria, Sant Joan, and Sant Miguel. Here is another interesting fact. Slightly more than 10% of the population consists of foreigners, mostly from other European countries such as Romania, Germany and Italy, but also from Latin American countries like Brazil. As night fell on that 23rd of December, we decided to look for a cozy place to have dinner. Many of the streets and storefronts were adorned with Christmas lights, colorful garlands, and festive displays. Christmas in Morella is also a time for indulging in delicious seasonal treats and traditional dishes. Local bakeries and pastry shops offer a tempting array of sweets and pastries, including nougat, shortbread cookies, and marzipan. Visitors can also sample hearty winter dishes such as stew and roast chestnuts sold by street vendors. Our hotel featured a nice restaurant, with a delicious menu and we had dinner there. My husband had duck accompanied with potatoes, while I had a delicious steak. We started off with a soup, and finished off with some very sweet and tasty desserts. Dinner was great. And the night's sleep was welcoming. The weather at night was chilly, and we woke up early in the morning and treated ourselves to some more delicious food, coffee, and orange juice during breakfast. We woke up early because we wanted to visit the Church of Santa Maria as it was already closed yesterday evening. And since today is Christmas Eve, we thought what better way to start this day than by visiting a church. So after breakfast we set out. We took the more direct road, which meant that we had to climb steps, a lot of steps. Something not so easy, just right after a sumptuous breakfast. Luckily for us, the weather was nice. It was still chilly, early in the morning. But this made climbing up more pleasant. From time to time we stopped, along the way, to catch our breath, and to take some photographs. 
The streets of Morella were very quiet, even though it was Christmas Eve. If I am not wrong, this staircase that leads to the Church of Santa Maria, from the lower parts of town is known as the Escaleritas de Santa Maria. And as you have seen, the staircase consists of a series of narrow, winding steps that ascend through the picturesque streets of Moella, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape along the way. Once reaching the top of the staircase, we were greeted by the majestic facade of the Church of Santa Maria, adorned with intricate stone carvings and Gothic elements. The church is situated in the heart of the town's historic center, surrounded by charming medieval streets and squares. The plaza in front of the church is known as Plaza de Santa Maria, and it offers stunning views of the church's facade. The church's construction began in the 13th century, around the year 1232, during the medieval period. The exterior façade of the Church of Santa Maria is a masterpiece of stone craftsmanship, adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures that showcase the skill and artistry of its builders. The façade is characterized by its vertical emphasis, pointed arches, and elaborate decoration, typical of the Gothic style. And we were probably the first visitors for the day. There was a small entrance fee to be paid, and then we had the entire church, just to ourselves. Stepping through its ancient doors, we were immediately transported back in time to the medieval period, surrounded by a sanctuary of profound spiritual significance and historical richness. The construction of the Church of Santa Maria reflects the religious and cultural significance of Morella during the medieval period. As a fortified town located near the border between the kingdoms of Aragon and Valencia, Morella played a strategic role in the region's history, and its churches served as symbols of faith and power. As our eyes adjusted to the dim light filtering through stained glass windows, we were struck by the soaring height of the nave, accentuated by the pointed arches and ribbed vaults characteristic of Gothic architecture. The interior was bathed in a warm, golden glow, illuminated by the soft light streaming through intricately crafted stained glass windows depicting scenes from the Bible, saints, and martyrs. The lofty ceilings seemed to reach towards the heavens, creating a sense of awe and reverence in those who enter. The vibrant colors of the glass danced across the stone walls, casting ethereal patterns of light and shadow that shifted with the passage of time. Flanking the altar were ornate chapels dedicated to various saints and religious devotions, their walls adorned with frescoes, paintings, and sculptures that tell the stories of faith and redemption. Our gaze was drawn towards the altar, the focal point of the sanctuary, where a magnificent retablo rises in a dazzling display of gilded wood and delicate carvings. The retablo was adorned with statues of saints, angels, and biblical figures, each meticulously crafted with lifelike detail and expressive faces that seemed to come alive. As we wandered through the nave, we encountered rows of intricately carved wooden pews, worn smooth by centuries of use, where worshippers once knelt in prayer and contemplation. There was also a small museum at the far end corner of the church. We visited it, but we are unable to show you the interior as no photography or videography was allowed. As we left and walked back towards our car, we were humbled by the majesty and beauty of this sacred church. It is a place where the divine meets the mortal, where the past and present converge in a timeless symphony of faith and artistry. And as we walked along the narrow alleys, we carried with us a sense of awe and wonder, knowing that we have experienced something truly extraordinary in the heart of Morella. We spent a short time in this small medieval jewel. Morella emerged as one of the most beautiful small towns we visited in Spain, with its ancient walls rising majestically above the rolling hills. Stepping through its gates is akin to stepping back in time, as cobblestone streets wind their way through a labyrinth of centuries-old buildings adorned with wrought iron balconies and colorful facades. 
The town's enchanting beauty is heightened by the dramatic backdrop of the Ellsport's Natural Park, where jagged peaks and lush forests provide a stunning contrast to Morella's medieval skyline. Once outside, we could admire the Forkall Gate, one of the main entrances to the town, an imposing structure characterized by its robust stone walls. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. Subscribing is the best way to stay updated on all the latest uploads and join our amazing community. And while you're at it, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback means the world to us. Lastly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on new content. As you have just seen, the windows and windscreen of our little car was still frozen. But just as the frost patterns on our car's windscreen leave a lasting impression, our unforgettable experience in Morella will be forever frozen in our hearts. We are now at the aqueduct of Santa Lucia, a testament to the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the people of Morella in medieval times. It consists of a series of arches constructed from stone, which spanned across valleys and gorges to transport water from its source to the town. We will end this episode at this spot. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.